What's up guys, Tar Heel Wheel back again with another video. But today, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of some personal experience of something with me. But first, please like and subscribe. If you're not already, hit the bell for notifications so you can get notified when I'm going live or when I post videos and things like that. But, back to the story. So, back, I think it was about 1996-ish. Uh, this is why this player right here will go to is on my all-time favorite list at all time and I'll never take them off and some people probably won't even put them on their all-time all UNC uh, favorite players list or top players list but I mean he's up there but some people probably wouldn't have him in there but and time Jameson okay didn't want to show that first but little backstory uh, 1996 I was probably it, I think I was like going into 10th grade or maybe I was in 10th grade or, or 9th grade. I was in one of those. Um, me and a buddy went to a Panthers game when they played at the Erickson Stadium. I think it was like the first year the Panthers had their stadium. Yeah, it was the first or second year. But I think it may have been first because it was 1996. But um, so me and a buddy... I was going to go get some friend, get some something to eat, and I was with my grandfather, my mom, and I don't think my brother was there, or maybe he was. I don't remember. But me and a buddy um, decided we were going to get some snacks. It wasn't, you know, full. It wasn't a packed house. It wasn't anything like that. But we were going to get some concession stands, and I was. We were in line getting some fries or something, um, and then. I saw this guy walking towards me, this tall guy. You know, I'm ninth, 10th grade at this time. I'm like, man, that's definitely got to be a basketball player. And as they got closer, it was Antoine Jameson. And I, he was walking. No one was around him. He was by himself. He had a big duffel bag, like he was going to play basketball or going to the gym. But he was at, he was playing for UNC, and... Why would he be there on a Sunday walking around with a bag? I don't know that answer. But, and I was like, well, maybe it's not. Because I didn't see anybody run over there to him. So, me being a young kid, I didn't say anything at the moment. And all of a sudden, about two minutes later, I hear some commotion going on. I hear this guy yell, Antoine Jameson, Antoine Jameson, oh my gosh, how you doing? Da, da, da. So, I was like, oh man, like, I gotta go talk to Antoine Jameson. Like that's why the Ari was one of my favorite players at that time. So I was like, oh my gosh! And this is the first time I've ever seen a player that I liked or really was close enough to get an autograph from anybody. So I didn't have anything on me. All I had was this dollar bill, and it's signed by Antoine Jameson, if you can see it. Because I ran up to him and I was like, hey, can I get your autograph? And all I had was a dollar bill. That's it. And so he signed it, and it was cool. I got to meet this guy, and I've kept this dollar my entire life. I actually, that dollar, this one dollar bill signing started a trend for me. Um, I kind of made it a point that when I did see people, I got them to sign a dollar bill. <laughs> so now that trend stopped because there's another dollar bill. That's Tim Hardaway. I saw him at a UNC game. Um, Dan Marino, he was at a Greenville Drive, like, single A baseball game. Uh, Coe Simpson that played for South Carolina. Here's another one. And there's some more that I got tucked away somewhere else, but I used to put them all in this little notebook right here. But I got about probably $20 worth of autographs uh, signed on dollars. But that's kind of where my autograph autograph obsession and chasing started was this dollar bill right here um so that's where it is a little small story time of why Antoine Jameson is one of my favorite players I was already he already liked him when he was playing and I finally got to meet him he was my first autograph that I got so that was it see you next time guys